And here's 364 Days, the reality show that tells you everything about Santa Claus. Here's what's happened since the end of the festive season. As usual, Santa Claus went on holiday to his Christmas island. How could the new year possibly start badly? Well, like this. It's the CEO of the elves calling from Lapland, Joe. And Joe's calling to point out that Santa's order for next Christmas is huge. The problem is that the elves, in order to meet the extra demand, need to expand their production capacity. The elves will just have to start working right now, that's all. But Joe thinks the elves deserve to have a holiday too, so it looks like all the presents won't be ready for December the 25th. Fortunately for Santa, the elves' contract is binding. And if the elves don't respect the delivery date, he can just transfer the order to another contractor. Joe yells that this is an unfair breach of contract and threatens to call his lawyer. With the result that Santa sends his lawyer in. And so the game begins between Christmas Limited versus the elves' cooperative. The judge then offers them an alternative, mediation. It'll cost less, it comes to an end faster, and the resulting solution will be satisfactory to both parties. <gasps> but wait, to go to mediation, don't we need a mediator? For example, the talking mouse. Well, now they only need a proper place where the mediation can take place. Oh yes, and one of the advantages of mediation is confidentiality. To speed up the production of gifts, Joe offers to make simpler presents. It's the thought that counts, right? Uh, no, Santa wants to keep up with the times. And so it's back to square one. Then the mouse decides she'll see them separately. Joe goes first. Then it's Santa's turn. The mouse invites him to share his real feelings. So what we have here is a late delivery and it's a social suicide for Santa. Then back in plenary, the pressure decreases. And Santa discovers that what really matters to the elves is to be able to attend the interknown winter games. Good. Well, understanding is fine, but a solution would be even better. Like, Santa could lend his sleigh to the elves to help modernise their factory. Meanwhile, Santa could enjoy a spa treatment. This requires some legal arrangements. But at least the plaintiffs have stopped complaining. And more important, next Christmas will take place as usual. And that's what you missed in 364 Days, The Real Life of Santa Claus. Merry non-Christmas. Ho, ho, ho!